Welcome back you guys to another video on my channel. Thank you so much for coming back for another one of my sustainability focused videos, one of my zero waste focused videos. I am just so happy every time I post one of these to see you guys' kind comments and that you guys do enjoy seeing these. So I've been trying to do, I've been trying not overload them, but I have been trying to make a sustainability focused video about once a month or every month and a half. So if you guys do like these videos from me, I would appreciate it so, so much if you gave this video a thumbs up right now. It would mean the world to me and it would allow this video to be shared to more people and help save our earth even more, which is something that I've become so passionate about on my channel. And I'm just so excited that so many of you guys share the same passion with me. So I do like to mention sometimes at the beginning of these videos that there is no judgment here. This is not about perfection and being the absolute most perfect, completely zero waste, never uses anything bad for the environment person because I know I'm sure as hell not that person and I make so many mistakes. What I like to just say is there's so many little things that you can incorporate into your life to slowly make bigger changes and that is kind of just where I like to start off these videos. You don't have to go out and buy a zillion things. You don't have to go out and change your lifestyle from watching one video on sustainability. It's just some idea to keep in the back of your head and hopefully some inspiration for you guys that you might not already know about. So with that being said, <laughs> the topic of today's video, let's get into it, Lindsay. I get asked so much how to be more zero waste, but also not spend a ton of money, how to actually save money by going less waste, zero waste. And girl, I have acquired my top tips also my top products that are super affordable, but we'll start off with tips on how to save money and actually create less waste. It might seem like, oh, you've got to get all this stuff. Like you need all these jars. You need all this like anti-plastic stuff. Like you need to replace everything that you have that's plastic with non-plastic. And honestly, that is just not the truth. Um, it does not have to be overwhelming and it does not have to be expensive. The first thing that you can do to save so much money is to eliminate your purchasing of unnecessary single use items. We typically use about once, maybe a couple times, and then we typically throw it away. Plastic cups, paper napkins, paper towels, Ziploc bags, plastic wrap, tissue paper, gift bags, water bottles, if you're still buying plastic water bottles, and the list goes on. A typical person wouldn't really think twice about that and these are things that it is so easy to think twice about and just stop doing entirely. That is a really easy place to start with just thinking about the single use items that you may use or you may still be using. Other examples I'm thinking are maybe like bathroom products like cotton rounds and makeup remover wipes and q-tips and all of these things can very very easily be replaced with a cheaper and more sustainable option that you won't use once and then throw away because just just think about that. It's, think about every person in the world doing that and all of us. No wonder the earth is fucking dying. All right, number two tip that I have a huge tip is to reuse things that you already have before going out and feeling like you need to purchase new things. Things like bags that you probably already have that you can take to the grocery store. I mean, I know us girls, at least me, I have like a zillion tote bags and things just like chilling in my closet at all times. I can just throw these things in the back of my car and take them to use at the grocery store which I do. Also, maybe some produce bags that you have left over. Like, you can literally take those to the grocery store and reuse them and reuse them. You don't have to necessarily have like muslin bags or bags that you went out and bought separate. Like, you can reuse the things that you already have. Um, packaging that comes in the mail, that's another one. Like, I have a couple things sitting right here next to me for Depop orders that I have gotten like an Urban Outfitters order, something in the mail that I've just saved the envelope it came in, I've saved the packaging and you can reuse that or you can, you know, make sure you know the proper way to recycle it. But I feel like reusing it is always, you know, the first and probably best option, but you know, recycling it is great as well. Another example that I wanted to show you guys is um, for candles. 
Uh, I used to create create so much candle waste. I was just lazy. I didn't want to like depot my candles. Um, and now I make sure I depot all of my candles. And it's actually so fun because <laughs> I realized almost all my candles come in these cute little jars. Um, for an example, like this is a tiny candle that I have repurchased a zillion times and they come in these little jars. And all you have to do is um, you just freeze it and then you can easily take the wax out after like 30 minutes or a few hours in the freezer. You can remove the wax with a knife. There's tutorials on YouTube on how to just depot your candles and reuse them into things. These are so cute and I actually still keep the lids as well, which I didn't bring this lid, but with the lid, I mean, this is just like a cute little mason jar. You can store things in here. You could put Q-tips. You could put um, little snacks like peanuts. I don't know, things that you get in bulk. You could put them in here and take this as a little snack on the go. Just, you know what I mean? Like if you do buy candles and think about the things that you're buying, think about like fun ways that you can be creative with things that you would typically maybe throw away and how you can actually, you know, reuse it into something else. All right, my next tip is for your necessities. Now, obviously there are some necessities for you know a zero waste life and a lot of them you probably might already have at your home so for necessities i mean things like for me a necessity would be like a reusable coffee cup mine is from yeti but you guys might already have one of these in your house like you might have a thermos most people probably have a thermos like literally just use that put that in your car you know next time you go get coffee say i have my own cup and have them fill it in there um that's what i did at starbucks today i got my cold brew and my in my cup and I just brought it and I felt so good about it. So that's like a necessity for me. Also, obviously like a water bottle. We talk about Miss Hydro Flask in every video, so we won't talk about that today. Other necessities for me are like cleaning supplies, but this is the thing. Think about how many different cleaners there are that come in these plastic spray bottles for like everything right like there's a glass cleaner and a window cleaner and an all surface cleaner and a carpet cleaner it's like i started realizing like what the hell i don't need all these cleaners i mean you think you do right you think you need a separate cleaner for everything but there are you know so many recipes online that you can make for a homemade all-purpose cleaner i know my mom uses like um, baking soda and vinegar all out of our house for a cleaner like i don't know if she combines those but those are some good you know ingredients that you would use these actually kind of eliminate the use for those plastic bottles of cleaners which is so crazy so these are a couple of norwex which norwex is a pretty sustainable cleaning brand i'm just like talking with my freaking things so this one is just the enviro cloth and basically you can use this dry and it kind of gets all the dust up and particles stick to it and then if you use it damp or wet then you can really kind of like go in and scrub so you can use this in your kitchen you can use this on your bathroom counters you can use this on a floor these are so awesome you can use this one for like everything and then for those shiny surfaces like mirrors things that can get streaky girl you don't even need a bottle of blue windex like what the fuck is even in there i don't know but it can't be good <laughs> you just need something like this which this is the norwex um this is, oh the window cloth i was gonna say the mirror cloth but you can use it for mirrors as well i used this to clean my bathroom mirrors yesterday it worked flawlessly. Literally, you don't even need a cleaning product. You can just use it damp or you can spray water to perfectly get rid of, um, you know, like mirror scuffs and all that kind of jazz. You can clean your windows with it. It's just amazing. So I will link these two down below. I, I also have their kitchen cloth, which is awesome. So these cloths from Norwex are definitely like a zero waste life hack for me. And obviously buying this once, like it is just going to last you forever even if you had like two of them or three of them like that is just going to last you for years and years to come and you don't have to buy these cleaners anymore and you know waste that plastic and just have all these products all the time right like we can just consolidate we're good okay another thing that's an essential for me is like snacks and food obviously like how can we make our food and our grocery shopping more zero waste than just going beyond like not using plastic bags so this is something that has been a main focus for me over the past few months and something that has helped me so much is starting to just really utilize the bulk section of my big grocery store so i go to winco i know that's more of a west coast place but i know that like sprouts has a bulk section you can probably look up near you where a bulk 
grocery store would be or a bulk section even kroger in my hometown has a small bulk section for for a few different things so like they are available and even if you don't have one um you know just trying to buy less plastic i feel like is just a way that you could go if you just don't have access to that sometimes i'll just have to show you guys um me going to winco and getting all my bulk stuff but for example like rice krispies i was making rice krispie treats the other week and at winco you would just get all the rice krispies in bulk in a bag and then take it home and that's what i have in this mason jar so shopping in the bulk section and also like things like mason jars and containers that you might already have at your house like those are some you know budget friendly essentials for me and if you didn't know this about bulk shopping is it is so much cheaper than buying things packaged which is crazy like you can literally get some of the exact same things in the bulk section and just save so much and get so much more for less money without the packaging it was like crazy like i probably got all these rice krispies for like a dollar or two i don't even okay my next tip especially if you are you know starting out or you want to become you know more sustainable um is to just start with one room in your house or one category so maybe like bathroom products or you could start with kitchen you don't have to get overwhelmed and like start buying you know all this stuff that you feel like for that you need for everything like you can just start with one category or one room in your house and try from there and then once you've kind of like gotten that room done then you can move on to another room trying anything is better than not doing anything at all and just ignoring the problems that are our world is literally dying so like we can ignore it all we want but like it's still happening okay, and lastly before i get into my top budget zero waste items which will be the you know like second half of this video i wanted to say also i mentioned this at the beginning of this video but you can make your own homemade recipes for so many things my sister is really good at this i would like to you know take some of her inspiration she like makes her own bread loaves and makes her own ketchup and sauces at home like so you don't have to buy that stuff and packaging it's just so crazy so i am definitely going to take that incentive into making more things at home so that is another budget hack i have like make your own stuff at home that's probably going to be really affordable a lot of the time especially if you like buy your supplies in bulk and you can make it multiple times all right and now if you made it until the end of this video because i feel like i've already been talking for quite some time so let's talk about my favorite budget hacks my favorite budget products specifically the first one is a new thing that i got for my pint cup which this pint cup i showed in my last sustainability video um i'll link it down below again i love this so much i bring it to festivals i bring it when i go out and i know i'm gonna have a drink and um what i've gotten recently it might seem so basic but it saved my life is this little ring let me take it off so this little silicone ring is from the brand clean canteen this basically just allows it to be able to hook onto my purse or my backpack but not take up a bunch of room in my bag because i carry small purses i don't want to put this in my purse like i just don't so i can put this thing around the lip and it stretches so like it should fit your, it could fit my hydro flask for example if I just wanted to attach that this could fit your reusable water bottle most likely unless it's huge um, And it has the hook and then you would just attach it to like a little tiny Silver clip that you probably already have or you can get for like five cents at <laughs> Rite Aid or something So this has made it so awesome for me to attach to my purse and just bring this with me everywhere and have like no excuse it's so crazy how affordable these are i had no idea um i'll link these down below you can get a pack of four of these for three dollars 95 cents from the clean canteen website so uh, and it comes in four different colors okay another affordable pack this is what i use for my laundry detergent at the moment the nelly's laundry soda now this first of all it just comes in the cutest little metal packaging so great and i can just reuse this and put things in it and use it as a storage container no plastic so this it has a hundred loads and you can get this on amazon for 19 dollars. so that comes out drum roll please to 19 cents per full load of laundry girl like this has lasted me so long she is a nice natural brand so I will link that girl down below my next hack which this product is under ten dollars 
and you can use it forever. <laughs> um, this is the Grove Collaborative Makeup Remover Towel. Now, I used to have the makeup eraser and I lost it. <laughs> so this was about half the price and it works exactly the same. I really do love this one. This might be my favorite one and they have some nice colors as well. Um, the Grove Collaborative Makeup Remover Towel. So I will link this baby down below. I absolutely adore it and it. I take my makeup off on this side, which is like the grosser side and then you wash it and it completely comes off and then this side is more for like skincare and like exfoliating and all that kind of jazz so this you might be like ten dollars well if you never have to buy makeup remover wipes or makeup remover like eye makeup remover or all these products like if you never have to buy any of that anymore think about how much money you're saving it's crazy and also i just could never forgive myself once i started realizing how much i was throwing away from using makeup remover wipes i was just like it's just not worth it like the convenience of them it's just not worth it and this is just basically the exact same thing and it's like really soft and cozy and you don't even need any product all you do is just put this under water and it completely removes all your makeup waterproof mascara face makeup eye makeup and then you just toss it in the washer and dryer with your normal laundry and going along with those are also my reusable cotton rounds i use these for toner and like occasionally for maybe some excess eye makeup or something like that but typically just for my facial toner or you know something like that so i'll link the ones i use down below they come in i think a pack of like 16 or 18 from amazon and they are incredible and once again you just wash them with your normal laundry and then i know i've talked to you guys about these before but instead of ziploc bags um just some snack storage or some freezer storage bags these are from grove collaborative as well and these are so awesome you can get like a set of three which comes with one of the snack ones one of the sandwich size bags and then also a big freezer bag which i was gonna bring mine out but it's holding a bunch of lettuce in my fridge right now and keeping that lettuce fresh so i decided i didn't really need to show you guys the lettuce one but i love that one it's actually my favorite one it's super spacious and i have like three or four of them these are amazing i will once again have these linked down below these are incredible you just you know for on the go they're just great and i use them i find for a lot of things that i would normally have used like plastic wrap for like just putting a couple things away in my fridge i talked to you guys about these earlier but mason jars these ones have changed my life recently i got a six pack of 64 ounce mason jars they're huge and they're amazing for snacks drinks like if you made your own tea or you made your own coffee cold brew your own oat milk you could just store it in a cute little 64 ounce mason jar i got six of these for under ten dollars on the walmart website um you can probably also find them at a thrift store for a really cheap like mason jars are so affordable so you might already have some at your house but if you need some big ones like this for storing snacks you can literally get those for you know a ton of them for like under ten dollars it's incredible i'll finish off with my recycled toilet paper so toilet paper is something that you know i'm not gonna stop using it i don't think most people are gonna just stop using toilet paper because it's wasteful but the best thing that you can do is to not get toilet paper that's wrapped in plastic um which is basically almost all of the toilet papers in stores besides like the really natural brands but i find that the ones in the stores are very uncomfortable on your bum and I personally love these ones from the brand Who Gives a Crap. So they basically have 100% recycled toilet paper that comes in paper. And this is something that you could reuse the paper packaging for like tissue paper. Also, you can just recycle it. I typically just recycle mine. These rolls are actually three ply. So they're not the softest ever. I'm not going to be like, it's Sherman Ultra, y'all. But it actually is really comfortable and you get really used to it and it's not it is not as uncomfortable as like the ones they sell in stores since it is three ply um but we love that they donate 50 percent of their profits to help build toilets for people that don't have toilets and it has no inks dyes or scents and it is 100 percent recycled and it comes out to i believe under a dollar per roll if you use the ten dollars off coupon that i will put in the description box for you guys you guys will get ten dollars off your first order and i believe leave with that discount you can get 24 rolls for 20 dollars and so that comes out to less than a dollar per roll and you'll be stocked up on toilet paper for the next you know 
few months okay guys i have been talking for so long um i could go on and on and on about things that i adore <laughs> but i've given you guys a ton of ideas in this video and let me know what you want to see for my next low waste sustainability video leave me comments down below of what you want me to make if you made it until the end of this video you are amazing <laughs> thanks for listening to me talk i hope you guys enjoyed this all the links to everything i mentioned will be in the description box down below and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video